What's up? It's your most hated Kaiju Power Scaler, King Churros here, and we're back at it again with another versus battle. Today in the versus arena, we got Monster Zero or King Ghidorah 2019 Monster Verse Legendary Whatever versus 2021 Mecha Godzilla Monster Verse Legendary Whatever. Now, before we start this video off. I would like to give a shout out to Camille Doss. I hope I said your name right. Correct me wrong in the comments. This is their suggestion of the video. And yeah, so a uh, little round of applause for Camille Doss. Now, this is an interesting battle. King Ghidorah and Mecha Godzilla have always been classic rivals of Godzilla. They've been rivals of Godzilla since the early Showa era. Uh, Heisei, Heisei Showa Millennium, Monsterverse, freaking Rewa era, like literally every era of Godzilla has fought these guys. So it's a very iconic matchup. It's really awesome to see. You guys already saw, um, I'm sure some of you, if not, you guys should totally check it out. Uh, Heisei King of Door versus Heisei Mecha Godzilla. I did that video already. Um, I have people suggest to me Showa uh, King of Dora versus Showa Mecha Godzilla. That's also coming. So basically, I'm gonna do a battle for every King of Dora and every Mecha Godzilla era. But as for today's video, it's gonna be Monster the Monsterverse version. Now, there's a big debate between uh, Monsterverse watchers about who's stronger, because Mecha Godzilla definitely laid the hands with Goji Boy, and so did King of Dora. But here's one big thing that I'm gonna address here. Context. Context is really, really important here. Now, in comparison, Mechagodzilla put up way more of a deadlier uh, damage towards King Ghidorah. I mean, not King Ghidorah, Godzilla. Mechagodzilla looked a lot more impressive because Godzilla couldn't really even land hits on him. But this is where context comes in, guys. For anyone, which I would be kind of surprised if you don't know this already. It's like said a thousand times by literally everyone. But Adam Wingard himself even stated this. But Godzilla was tired. Like, he just went a bunch of rounds with Kong and expelled energy towards the Hollow Earth. So he wasn't at full capacity. Now, I'm not downplaying Mecha Godzilla either when I say this. As we've seen in Godzilla Dominion, he was even in a more tired state. Yeah, he was able to one-shot monsters like Amalek and completely body characters like Scylla and make her be terrified of him. And this is him in his weakened state. So for Mechagodzilla to be able to completely body Gojira, even uh, in this weakened state, when we know in his weakened state he's not really that weak, is still impressive. So I'm not downplaying Mechagodzilla, but... Here's a really big thing that get this out the way. So I'm gonna straight up say how I, who I absolutely believe wins this fight, like eight, eight out of 10 times. Monster vs. Ghidorah should outright destroy Mega Godzilla. And it's gonna be, I'm gonna put this in simple terms, but I want you guys to think of like this. King Ghidorah was able to defeat, for one, a fully powered Godzilla. And if that's still not enough for you, He's able to outright beat a stronger version, the supercharged version. The only way Godzilla was able to even defeat him was using his thermonuclear state. Which, with uh, Godzilla against uh, Mecha Godzilla, uh, all Godzilla needed, a tired Godzilla, all he needed was a tired Kong, not even a full capacity Kong. Uh, in the novelization, it stated they're both at half their strength, so like 50%. So that already there kind of let you know. Uh, do you guys really think a 50% Kong scales to a supercharged Godzilla? You know, what King Ghidorah scales to? Okay, there, that's my point exactly. Still not enough for you, because I know some of you might be like, well, uh, King, uh, King Ghidorah ran away from Godzilla in Avocado, and Avocado, uh, and Michael Jordan confirmed that Monster vs. Godzilla defeated him in the past, and yes, that is true in both the cases, but still, um, I think for whatever reason, we don't know the full way of how Godzilla defeated King Ghidorah. Um, obviously it should be due to his power, they're relatively even to each other, 
So it's not uh, out of the question for Godzilla to do such a thing. But based off the fight in Antarctica and how their fight went in Boston, because us, uh, uh, Godzilla was even a stronger state than he was before in Boston. The characters in a film even make this out to be. They were like, oh, Sarah Zaw got this lizard juice. Like, they're like, like, shot. They seen him in his base form. They didn't make no comments or statements like that. Like, the, for them to make that statement, that would have to imply that he is stronger in this super nuclear state. I mean, it should be obvious anyways, because in Antarctica, King Adora was uh, winning for the most of it. But in Boston, Godzilla had the upper hand. So that should already, like, tell you that he did get boosted here. And despite the fact King Adora was losing and the novelization make it even worse for King Adora's case than the movie did, but the fact that King Adora can still fight this Godzilla shows that he scales at least a little bit. And even if you guys think it's just a little bit, I think you're downplaying him to be honest. But even then, if you want to scale him to even a little bit, that's still higher than what Mecha Godzilla did. And if that's still not enough evidence for you, Let's talk about Godzilla's atomic breath. And let's compare how Mecha Godzilla compared to uh, his atomic breath and how King Ghidorah compared. Now, Godzilla himself never hit Mecha Godzilla with the atomic breath, but that's it's still not out of the question. For one, in the um uh what's it called? The work the work book or behind the scene book, I forgot you guys can flame in the comments about whatever it's called. And uh basically the behind the scene book for the GVK, um, or I, it might have been, not, 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 not have been a book. Uh, it's one of the people who designed Mecha Godzilla. I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of it right now. But they all pretty much said, yeah, he could take the atomic breath, but not for long periods of time. And um, this is not just a loose statement that has no meaning to it. It is supported with the film itself. Um, for one... Godzilla's atomic breath wasn't at full potency when he had the beam clash with Me uh, Mecha Godzilla. Uh, Adam Wingard himself stated if Godzilla was at full capacity, he believed it would the fight would turn out complete. I mean, the beam battle would have been different, which kind of implies that Godzilla would win the beam battle. So this would mean his uh, beam wasn't at full capacity, and this is supported by the fact that Kong, with an axe that was already charged, then charged again by Godzilla's atomic breath then charged a second time by Godzilla's atomic breath. Kong hit Godzilla directly in the head. Uh, even said, uh, Adam Wingard himself said he got slugged, so it wasn't just an explosion, he did get hit. He said he got slugged, the novelization also confirms this. He was able to take the hit without being bloodied, without being scarred, without being on the verge of death. He was able to take the hit. He was stunned or either knocked out for a short period of time and was able to get back up and then throw hands with Kong. So this supports that Godzilla is able to withstand his own atomic breath and probably even at a stronger capacity if the axe is able to expel more energy than atomic breath can. Yet there is nothing to outright confirm that as of right now, so it should be around the same power. Maybe less, but uh, let's just say the same power. So this would support that Godzilla can take his own atomic breath. Which would mean the statement about uh, Mecha Godzilla not being able to take the atomic breath for a long period of time uh, would already imply that Godzilla's durability is better than Mecha Godzilla's. Or, and if that's still not enough for you, need some feats and not statements. I got you, because you guys know I love feats over statements, anyways. Uh, Kong, with a weakened atomic breath charged axe was able to completely obliterate Mechagodzilla. Mechagodzilla's arms and legs were decapitated. Man's, man's died, okay? With an axe that wasn't even as strong as the axe that Godzilla took, and Godzilla shrugged that axe off. Okay, now you might be learning, okay, so what does this have to do with King Ghidorah? As I established earlier, supercharged Godzilla is stronger than base form Godzilla. Mechagodzilla was fighting a tired base form Godzilla. Let's keep this going. So, if supercharged Godzilla is stronger than base Godzilla, isn't it safe to imply that supercharged Godzilla's atomic breath is more powerful than base form Godzilla's atomic breath? Yes? Agreed? Okay. Remember the scene where Godzilla outright hit King Ghidorah in point-blank range with the atomic breath? 
and King Ghidorah didn't even have a scratch mark? This proves that King Ghidorah's durability is far above Mechagodzilla's. If Mechagodzilla is able to get hurt by a weakened atomic breath, yet King Ghidorah is able to brush off a powered up atomic breath, this should let you know the huge difference in durability already. So, so this should already let you know that King Ghidorah's durability would be too great for Mechagodzilla to even try to hurt. Because for one, Mechagodzilla couldn't even like pretty much like like make a uh, base tired Godzilla like bleed or be in severe damage he didn't really do anything all that much he gave him a black eye and then again Godzilla black eye healed by the end of the movie so it wasn't like it was a forever type of deal but yeah he he laid a bunch of hits but the hits weren't really like doing much it's like um I need to make a good comparison for this let's say uh it's like it's like if I were to, it's like if Superman was like really tired and like didn't feel like fighting me, be me back and I just punched him a bunch and I kicked him around and threw him around a bunch. But <laughs> the thing is, I'm not doing anything to Superman. I'm just hitting him and punching him, throwing him around a bunch, but he's not really at full capacity. So it doesn't really make me all that great. Now, don't get me wrong, like I said earlier, Beating up a tired Godzilla is still a feat. It is still a feat that Mechagodzilla did that. But that is nowhere near in comparison to King Ghidorah defeating a supercharged Godzilla. And base form Ghidorah should be strong. Oh, wait. Yeah, base form Ghidorah is the one who took the super atomic breath. He once again proving that he scales to a supercharged Godzilla. So this is just supporting my case. That he could take... So if a base form atomic breath stated by Adam Wingard is able to overpower Mechagodzilla's proton screen, this should prove that King Ghidorah should be able to take the proton screen. And Godzilla himself in a tired state was able to take it. Did it hurt him? Yes. But did it make him bleed? Did it make him knock out? Did it kill him? No, it didn't. It really didn't. But you know what did knock Godzilla out for a period, short period of time? Base form Ghidorah's gravity beams. And that was not a tired Godzilla. You guys see, you guys see, like, I keep stacking up points. King Ghidorah's gravity beams are more powerful. His durability is better. Now, Mechagodzilla may have the speed, but you think King Ghidorah's going to struggle with characters that are faster than him? I, I've seen some people say King Ghidorah's faster than Rodan. Uh, whatever the belief is, it doesn't matter. Rodan is supersonic speed. He's fast. Uh, Mothra is also at around the same speed. She even... Speed Blitz King Ghidorah at one point. He was able to contend with both of them and defeat the both of them. So he doesn't have a problem fighting characters faster than him. King the Monster vs Ghidorah never had a struggle or problem with that. So so just to be like, well Mechagodzo is much faster, he's gonna beat him that way. It, it already established anyways that King Ghidorah can take whatever Mechagodzilla can throw at him anyways. So even if he is just outright much faster, King uh, Mechagodzilla can't do much to King Ghidorah. And at some point, he's gonna get hit. His strength should be comparable to uh, Mechagodzilla, if not, if anything, stronger, as he was able to lift Supercharged Godzilla into the sky effortlessly. Supercharged Godzilla could not fight back against it, showing that in a supercharged state, he is strong enough to be overpowered Godzilla himself. Heck, even in his base form, he overpowered Supercharged Godzilla with uh, the three bite attack, lifting him up and throwing him down and dragging him across the city for a short period of time. That already shows he's comparable even when Godzilla's in his supercharged state. Like, even strength-wise, he's stronger. So if he gets his hands on Mechagodzilla, for one, he could potentially, since uh, Mechagodzilla's, uh, well, no, no, yeah, not even potentially, he should, be able to just absorb the energy out of Mechagodzilla. And we know with absorption, King Ghidorah gets stronger. So him with hollow earth energy? Are you kidding me? He kind of destroy him. Uh, what if he pulls the same thing he did with Godzilla? Lift him up in the sky and then drop him. We already proved that 
Mechagodzilla's durability isn't as good as Godzilla's. So if Godzilla was hurt by that, Mechagodzilla, how much more so Mechagodzilla? If anything, Mechagodzilla should break to pieces. The best chance Mechagodzilla got is with his speed. And that doesn't even mean all that much because King Ghidorah could potentially be even faster than he is. I've seen a calc for King Ghidorah's speed being at Mach 13 in a supercharged state. Which would make him much faster than Mechagodzilla. At least in terms of flight. Which, uh, what's really Mechagodzilla gonna do when King Ghidorah's in the sky? Probably shoot him with the Proton Scream. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, wouldn't really do all that much. Maybe King Ghidorah falls down. Mechagodzilla tries to go in and do something, but then King Ghidorah would just overpower him with his strength. As we established earlier, he's physically stronger. So Mechagodzilla, which his only choice is to get up close to King Ghidorah to really try something. Because the Proton Scream, it's great and all, but... It won't last forever, especially if it got into a beam clash with King Ghidorah's gravity beams. King Ghidorah's gravity beams should overall beat his uh, proton screen. So there's already that. So Mechagodzilla would most likely have to get in close with King Ghidorah. And that would be a fatal mistake, as we established. <laughs> if he absorbs energy, grabs a hold of Mechagodzilla, it's over. Mechagodzilla's a goat, don't get me wrong, he's cool. But... He's not King Ghidorah. He's not. Monster vs. Ghidorah is something else. Literally, the only thing that's more powerful than he is in terms of the Monster Verse is Thermonuclear Godzilla. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing could compare. Literally nothing else. Mechagodzilla can't do anything about it. So it's, um, it's an outright stomp. It's not even much of a close fight. I guess you can make cases for it. Somebody in the future could debate me on it if you really believe it could be a close fight. But I'm gonna be honest, this is like a low to mid difficulty fight. King Ghidorah should take this with relative ease. Uh, or yeah, like relative ease. It would be more like him just chasing down Mechagodzilla, if anything. It's like Mechagodzilla running for his life while King Ghidorah is just trying to destroy him. Because he shouldn't really do all that much to King Ghidorah. But yeah, I think I settled my case as to why King Ghidorah just outright destroys MonsterVerse Mechagodzilla. Um, uh, uh, I, Milk and Big Moose just been here listening to me rant about this for a while. And I don't know if they have the same opinions as me. I'm going to let them talk if they feel like talking. Otherwise, I'm just going to cut this part out. Okay, so I, this is off topic, but I figured out what the sandwich was. It's steak, bell peppers, <laughs> mayo, and onions and cheese. You know, that's definitely off topic. Yeah, anyway, continue. I'll have to cut that um... off. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we even talking about right now? Like, I, you guys both I agreed know. that King of Dora won. I should have yeah. ended it a we long got, time ago. We got such off track. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, um... So yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ghidorah wins. Monster vs. Ghidorah is a GOAT, and uh, he wins this fight. If you disagree Wait, with me- Wait, he was recording this entire time? Yes. Yes, they hear your voice now. Put that in the video mixtapes. So, uh, I'll catch you guys later!